Today, I'm gonna show you how to work with well-known representation by the OGC standard in QGIS using some nice plugins. Okay, the first thing to do is to open QGIS. I have added a base layer and created a new layer here, a temporary layer which have the third dimension and is actually a polygon. So let's put it in editing and create a new sample feature. Just draw whatever you want. It's just an example, so this is okay. Now we have this nice polygon drawn on the map and we want to work with its well-known text representation, which is an OGC standard that defines how to write geometries using text-only representation. So, let's add a few plugins first. So, click menu, the plugins menu and actually manage and install plugins. From the old tab, search for WKT and check get WKT plain geometry editor and quick WKT. Okay, it will install the, the plugin and click OK. Once you have done it, you will find a few more icons in the toolbar. This one, which is the plain geometry editor, this WKT, which is the quick WKT, and the three uh, new icons which are from the get WKT plugin. So let's start with the easiest one which uh, need actually needs to have a feature selected so click the select feature button and select the polygon we have drawn before. As you can see we have three circles here one the blue one with WKT the green one with EWKT and the JSON red one. So click on the WKT. As you can see, you will get the representation in WKT. You can just select and uh, cut and paste, copy and paste this one from QGIS to bring it in whatever you want. If you click the EWKT, you will get the extended WKT, which actually includes the read. And if you click JSON button, you have uh, the GeoJSON representation, so you, can, so you can cut and paste it uh, to whatever you want. If you want to edit this geometry using the W KT directly, you may use the plane geometry editor. So click the plane geometry editor, click the geometry, and as you can see, you can edit the, the coordinates. So maybe we want to move this a little up and you click apply, and you get edited. This is the uh, nice plugin to edit the geometry directly from the WKT or WKB. WKB is not really useful if you are a human, so WKT is okay. And another nice thing we can do is to use the quick WKT, which actually uh, serve to um, add something using WKT. I have a WKT geometry here. So I'll paste it in the area and uh, you can add uh, a name to the geometry. Let's go as the dust and click OK. As you can see, you have a new layer added with the name we had before and the geometry is actually here. So this is really useful if you have a text representation of the geometry you want to add it on a layer in QJS. Oh, OK. So we have seen these three nice plugins, which is which are called Get WKT, Plain Geometry Editor, and Quick WKT. Uh, that's all for today. Remember to install them as uh, they are really useful. And thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe, please, uh, in order to not miss any update. Uh, 
and uh, click the like button, add the comment if you like. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.